Good morning, YouTubes. This is Cody with Underground Metal Detecting, and I just wanted to show you some of the new tools we got to play with. Some more metal detecting toys. We finally got our hands on the Beast Machine, the Mind Lab Manticore. Our friends at High Plains Prospectors hooked us up with a great deal, so of course we're going to give you a link in the description. Check out what they got. They have everything in stock, so go ahead and uh, check them out. See what you want for all your metal detecting, treasure hunting, even gold prospecting needs. They got everything there, all the big brands. Anyhow, not only did we get the Manticore, which comes with the 11-inch coil stock, but we have the M8, which is going to be our nice little sniper coil, and the big M15 coil, so we can get pretty deep. I managed to put on, these are the Snakeskins wire covers, keep you from getting kinks in the wire or getting it abraded if you move past something sharp. I also put on, this is the bumper cover from the Ultimate Finds box, and just like on the Equinox, I have the magnetic shovel mount. If you have a metal handled shovel, that not only allows you to prop it up against that, but it's got four magnets in there, so it'll stick to it. And if that's not enough, we're definitely not going to get rid of the Equinox 800, because look at this gigantic coil. This is the Coil Tech Nox 18, so we're going to see how deep we can go with that. But I won't keep you waiting. We're going to go find a park and see what we can find with the Manticore. Okay guys, we found a new park for us. This should be suitable for our testing. We do have Winnie here. Hey Winnie, you want to show them your pretty nails? Look at my bumblebee nails. Nice. Perfect for your new Halloween costume. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to show something else I got. This guy here is made by a company called Blavor, Blaver, however you say that. Um, it's actually a solar powered uh, power bank that not only are you charging, you see the green light there, it's charging by the sun, but you don't got to worry about wires because you have them all on the back. USB C3, USB C2. Good job. We have the lightning cable and a USB out. And if you want to charge it at home, you have the M's, USB-C and a regular USB. I think that's type A, the big rectangle. So you can charge it. And you always got power for your devices. Of course, I have the GoPro. I have the GoPro Volta. I have I like the rechargeable Nocta AccuPoint pen pointer. I think I really like something I see. You do? Yeah. And I have our new Manticore and the headphones so I can keep everything charged in the field. But we won't keep you waiting. Let's go see what kind of treasure we can find. All right, first trip with the mighty Manticore. I'm just gonna go through, hopefully, make sure you guys can see what I'm looking at here. I gotta mess with the, I know I can see it. I don't know if I can get that uh, displayed. Hopefully it's visible enough for the camera. But going through the menu, just general settings. I'm gonna leave it in multi-frequency, audio theme normal, five tones, not going to mess with the ferrous volume, leave it on the factory preset for the ferrous limits, regular discrimination pattern, recovery speed, I'll go up to six since I have the smaller coil here and I swing a little faster, ground balance I leave at zero, noise cancel, run a quick cycle for that, search mode, all terrain general, Volume as loud as it can get. And with that, we're ready to detect. I'll see you on the first hole. Okay, found our first target. If you can see on the screen, everything's showing right around the center. Probably a couple targets in there. Uh, 
I'm going to say it averages a 62. And then you hit pinpoint. When you get the red, you got it locked in. So we're going to dig right there, four arrows down. Let's see what we get. And there is our first signal. A random piece of metal. I will test it on the magnet. It is not magnetic. So it could be aluminum, could be a chunk of whatever, but it's just scrap. You saw that wasn't exactly a coin shape on the screen, so we should have expected that. On to the next one. Here is our first dime coming in at a 77 on the Manticore. Uh, something after 2000, so she's just going to be a regular clad. But of course, I still got something in the hole. So let me dig that up and I'll show you if it's anything special. Here is our next signal. 3032. Perfect little circle shape there on the 2D screen. Let's dig her up, find out what a 3032 is. Well, not a coin like I was expecting. A random sort of rounded chunk of metal, nothing identifying on it. It is not magnetic. I will check again with the detector, see if we have anything in there. If not, we move on to the next hole. It wouldn't be a park hunt without our old friend, the common pole tab. Which I believe I was getting a 42. 42 to 45 junky pole tabs, which is usually a 13 on our Equinox 800. So I imagine a nickel will be very similar to these. And 23 gives us the vintage version. Terrible. Another 78 signal gives us, I believe that's a 1977 penny. You're a nice butterfly? What are you doing? Ah, I'm scared of butterflies. Ah. A quick, louder, higher pitch signal. It's giving me a 71. Actually gives us a 1972 copper memorial penny. And I was getting a pretty good, I don't remember what the VDI was. Let me double check it. Actually, you only get part of it. It's like a high 40s, low 50s, but I believe this was a really old nail that's literally crumbling. It might have had some type of coating or something to it. You can tell, obviously, the hammer end of it and the point. But that's junk, so into the junk pile it goes. All right, one last signal. We only had a couple minutes for this trip. 88 to 90, if I'm correct, that's a quarter. And only about two down, so we should be able to find it live. Right about there, use the little baby shovel, hand digger. Thick grass here, so. Yeah, I'm one less, one less target, pumpkin. What is that? Hopefully that's not it, because I thought we had a quarter. That is, that's why. An elf bar vape. Hopefully that's not the only target. Double check. And that'll do it. So you can definitely find the good treasures and the bad treasures. But I believe this will wrap up for us. I already got Corey and Winnie way out by the white truck. So let me go ahead and bid you guys goodbye until the next video. And thanks for watching.